What is up, dudes and lady dudes? Welcome back to Just Nuts, guys. Today, we've got some more news to go through. I already did the video all about the Eternity Code final, like, 20 cards or whatever for, for that, um, for that set, the, uh, the, whatever you call it, the TCG exclusive part of that set. Uh, and we also got some really, really cool, um, promos revealed for uh the ocg and i'm super excited to show them off i mean they're super super cool looking um because i just want to know what they do because they're like so classic here as you can see from some of the art so uh the other video is just so long there's literally like 20 cards i went through so i just didn't have time to uh do all of it in one otherwise the video would have been like crazy long nobody would have wanted to see it but uh, we have reveals we don't have effects for everything but yeah um starting here we have a new Time Wizard Fusion card, um, <laughs> which is really, really clean. Uh, Time Magus is like the, the first translation. It probably won't stay the same, but still. Um, and it's really, really cool. Um, I don't know. It, it, I like it. I love Time Wizard. It's such a classic card. So cool. He looks awesome here, and I'm really excited to see what he does. Um, we have Harpy Lady Scratch Clash. Um, Again, probably another uh, thing where um, the name will not stay, but it's just the first translation. It's a level 8 wind synchro. i um, really curious about this because I don't believe harpies have a tuner. Um, maybe this will just be like a generic like uh, synchro card or maybe a wind synchro card and maybe harpies will get like a generic tuner later down the line i have no idea what they're planning with this card but she's cool and if she's really good and they gave harpies like a really good tuner uh potentially it could be a part of the deck because i have messed around with harpies in the past they're really fun um they're, so there's that we have a jinzo exceed this is jinzo layer um i don't exactly know what how this would work like again like this is weird like are these going to be generic something tells me these are going to be generic because like i guess this one could work with time wizard because there's already other fusions that work with time wizard but I, I some for some reason i see these being somewhat generic if they what if they're generic and they're actually like good like legit good new genetic or generic like meta cards like this could be uh an instant fusion target this could be a super poly target be relevant that way this could be a generic synchro level eight that actually does like wild wild stuff not just for harpies but maybe generically because like these don't make sense like time wizard isn't even an archetype he's just a card so like obviously this has no synergy with that harpies don't have a tuner so like this has no synergy with them yet and jinzo if you summon jinzo you're trying to plan you're kind of planning on winning with jinzo whereas this guy says no you want two jinzos on the field to make him but he could also just be a generic, really, really good uh, Exceed level uh, rank six. And like, maybe he's just like a card like that, that like you can just get him going just by putting two level sixes on the field. And like, maybe he's that good that maybe decks that can play sixes will like try to take advantage of. I don't know. Um, the only other thing here is we do have a hundred dragon here instead of, what is, is he thousand dragon? I think so. Uh, cause something, something's ringing in my ear when Joey says it. He's literally like, Thousand Dragon! So, that makes sense. This is Hundred Dragon. It's a wind level four. That's all we really know about it. He's cool. I like it when we see stuff like this, cause a level four could just be like a turbo card. Like, what if this card is just like, on normal summon, add a time wizard and a polymerization from your deck to your hand. <laughs> and you're just like, oh, cool. I can go Thousand Dragon. I could probably go into this fusion immediately pretty cool card <laughs> so i love the artwork it, it really is like reminiscent of the classics like this is just jinzo but like a little bit darker a little bit badder this is like classic like harpies um this is like literally time wizard and this is like a cool hunter dragon so i really love the artwork there we also have some other um stuff revealed this is on um, the next three subscription promos for i guess um what, what is it called what do you pro what do you subscribe to in this to get the promos in the OCG. I can't even remember what it's called. Um, but they're old GX promo cards, which is pretty cool. Um, you have Reptia Egg, Sam Sarah Dragon, and Dark Alligator. I don't remember what either of those do, uh, but they're pretty cool. This guy looks cool. He's like a three-headed alligator. And also, like, I, I already had thought about this before. Because we got, like, Reptilian Echidna and the new... Um, what is it? The new Alien Link 2? I think they're actually not bad link monsters the problem is like reptiles in general are just so 
the opposite of fleshed out. They're like the opposite of zombies and plants. Those are like generic like types that have been fleshed out like so much. They have so much like just generic good like support in there. Reptiles are the opposite. They're generic like that, but they just don't have great like generic cards that help like any archetype in that type like do something which is why they really like need help like they konami needs to make them like give them cards like mizuki um like the miracle fertilizer lone fire blossom like cards like that that'll just like like help make it so that any future reptile deck could potentially do something because i think reptiles can be cool if they make them cool like a, a lot of people don't like reptiles but if they made them like cool uh it could be done right and it could be something that uh could be good and a lot of people would like so so yeah, that's pretty much it here for this stuff. I think this is really cool. I'm really excited to see what these do. You know, we'll get these imported at some point. They'll be really awesome, like, chase cards as far as, like, collector's market. And maybe they'll be good. I mean, like, I think the logic here is not terrible. Uh, I feel like my logic, like, kind of makes sense. Like, the fact that this doesn't work with Harpies, this doesn't really work with Time Wizard, other than the fact that, like, I guess they already should, like, we already know that, like, Time Wizard and Polymerization are already, like, a thing, I guess. And then, like, again, like, Junzo doesn't make sense as an Xeed. And then, well, he's he's different. But, like, these could just be generic good cards. Who knows? But I'm really excited to find out. Of course, guys, I'll keep you updated on this, like, pretty much the day we figure out what these effects do. I will be making a video on it. So stay tuned for that. Um, let me know your thoughts on these. What are you expecting to see from these cards? What do you think they'll do? Um, I'm really excited to hear your thoughts, of course. Let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. All that stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.